Hi everyone. Welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona. That's me in the picture. Today's domestic duty day and I have laundry and cleaning today, so no makeup, you get a picture. Well, today is Fun Friday with the lovely Tiffany and her beautiful co-host La Portia from Creating It Myself. Now, Tiffany has a channel called Broke Girl Aesthetic, and I will include the link below. And La Portia has a channel called Creating It Myself, and I will include that channel link down below also. I will include the link to the full playlist of everyone who is joining in today for Fun Friday. And you'll want to be a, you want will want to check out the full playlist to see everyone who is joining in for Fun Friday. I do want to give Tiffany a special shout out for thanking her to do this every first Friday of the month. I really appreciate it, and I hope Tiffany continues this through 2022. Can you believe it's almost 2022? Anyway, today I am doing music sheets for hanging Christmas decor. I did several different projects doing this, and what I'm going to do today is just show you the steps of how I did it. I did several and I didn't think I needed to show you each individual projects because I did the same steps for each project. So I'm just going to show you the steps as I did the different projects. The first thing I did was I got on the internet and I found free sheet music and printed it off. I used coffee and a sponge to put on the paper. On, I put the paper on parchment paper on a cookie sheet. Then I used a sponge to cover the sheet music. Sometimes I covered the front and the back, and sometimes I just covered the front. My tip is to play with it. Some people crinkle up the paper before they put the coloring on it. Sometimes I did, sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I crinkled up the paper after I baked it. You put it in the oven, on the parchment paper, on the cookie sheet at 250 degrees for five minutes. Don't leave the oven because sometimes it cooks faster than five minutes and sometimes it takes a little longer. When the edges of the paper start to curl up, it's done. Take it out of the oven. Sometimes I took it out and it wasn't as dark as I wanted it. So I let it dry, crinkled it up, and added more coffee. You'll be able to see that some of my sheet music is darker and more crinkled than the others. Some of it I didn't crinkle up, but I added more coffee and put it back in the oven to cook again. I suggest you just play with it. All you're doing is using a sheet of computer paper and you're not going to ruin anything. If you do, you're just losing a piece of sheet paper. I think this is a great project to experiment with, and that's exactly what I did. I tried some without crinkle, crinkling and some with crinkling. Okay, so let's get started, and I'll show you how I did my sheet music Christmas hanging decor. And once again, don't forget to check out Broke Girl Aesthetic, that's Tiffany, and Creating It Myself, that's La Portia, our host and co-host for today's Fun Friday. Oh, and hey, I almost forgot. If you enjoy my video, be sure and give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, it's real easy to subscribe by just hitting that subscribe button. I'd love if you jo join Known as Here. Okay, now I'm ready to get to the craft. All right, so here I go taking my coffee and my little sponge and putting it on the paper. And I really did it lightly because I was a little afraid. 
And I did flip over this one, but it's not necessary to do the back. So just be aware. And this one came out really light because I just did a little bit of the coffee coloring. So here I'm showing you the the way the sheets look. That's the plain one that I started out with. That's the first one that I did lightly and didn't crinkle. Then the next one is the one that I did real heavy and with the coffee and it came out darker and you can see the edges where I went real heavy with the coffee. And then the third one is where I went real heavy with the coffee and I crinkled it after I did the first uh, coat and cook and then I crinkled it, and I went real fast after that one, but I crinkled it and cooked it. Okay, so now I'm taking my signs from Dollar Tree, and I'm preparing them to uh, make the, uh, put the sheet music on. So I'm taking off all the tags, and um, I'm going to scrub off all the, uh, glitter and remove the hardware with my putty knife and then I painted both the fronts and the back black because these were going as gifts. So now you can see I am working on one of the round ones and I replace that little hardware metal top on that one. And every uh, sign has been painted black with the top and the front and the back. Now I found this Mod Podge spray. What a find. So I'm going to try and use it to attach my sheet music to each one of the signs. I do not like using the Mod Podge out of a pot with a brush. That does not work well for me. But the spray Mod Podge works really well. So I ta attached all my music sheets to my signs using the Mod Podge spray, which I really like. So if you can get your hands on this, I suggest it. So I'm going, I've sort of, I laid it on there, the sheet music on there first, So I and I kind of bent the paper around the sign so I could see where it was gonna fit. And then I laid it down and I smoothed it out just with my hands and I did get one bubble on I think this is the one where I got a pretty big bubble on but you know what I didn't worry about it but I had it uh, already positioned where I knew the paper would bend over the side so I was pretty happy with that and I just laid it down and the Mod Podge spray did work well as a glue. So there I am just pressing it down and folding it back. And uh, like I said, the Mod Podge spray worked much better for me than uh, the Mod Podge uh, liquid does for me. So there I am. I've got that one done and that was a Jingle Bells one. So now I'm doing a round one using Joy to the World. I've done exactly the same thing. I've bent the paper back. So I cut off the excess paper and then I take my sanding block and I sand off the edges to get a nice clean edge. Trick here is sand top to bottom straight down. Otherwise you will tear your paper. So sand up to down. Now I'm taking my Mod Podge spray again and spraying over the top, making sure I get all the edges glued down. I think this is a joy to the world one. So I do that to all my signs, um, all my projects after I get it glued down, making sure I get every edge down real well, glued down well. So just like you use the other kind of Mod Podge, I did it with this one. Let it dry completely, and now my uh, paper is glued down well on my signs.
All right, so now it's time to decorate, and this is my first Jingle Bells. I have those red beads that I got at Hobby Lobby last year at the end of the season, so I've strung three Jingle Bells on it, and I'm showing you what all I have to decorate, and you all, if you've been with me before, know I always have much more than I really need. And so I am going to decorate the first Jingle Bell sign, and this is all the things I'm going to use to decorate it. So I'm going to get busy and hang the jingle bells on and put some decorations at the top and around the sides because I don't like the black showing through on the sides of the music. Um, every sign is decorated differently. Um, so whoever gets the gifts, um, it's family members. When they see them, they're different. Okay, so that's the first one that's finished. I put that little ribbon at the top, that beautiful ribbon. I knew they couldn't hang it that way, so I put twine on the back so that they could hang it with the twine and not mess up the ribbon. The ribbon was just for looks. All right, so then after I did that, I was ready to go to the... Noel uh, sign, which is on the rectangular board, which I had, of course, painted on both the front and the back. And I put on the Noel uh, paperwork just uh, the, the music, just like I did before. I made myself a little wreath, and I decided to write, to put the word Noel using tumbling blocks and use the little wreath for the O. Now this one I had really used a lot of the coffee coloring, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> and gotten a lot of uh, brown on the side. So once again, I'm using my Mod Podge uh, spray and I'm going to glue it down using the Mod Podge spray. All right, so now I need to paint my tumbling box. I'm using the uh, Waverly chalk paint in crimson, and I wish I could take credit for this, but I can. I saw someone else use this. You take your masking tape, lay it down sticky side up. Of course, you have to tape it down on both ends. You lay out, I saw her using this for letters. I hate painting w wooden letters. Anyway, you lay them down on your masking tape sticky side up and you can paint them without them sliding all the way around and you can paint them on all the sides, no problem. You don't paint them on the side that's down against the sticky tape, which you don't want to paint because that's the side you're going to glue down. So I use that idea. I've painted letters that way. It works fantastic. And so I decided to use that way to paint my tumbling blocks that I'm going to use to spell out the word no L. I thought it was very clever. I wish I had written down the person's name who showed me this wonderful tip. It's brilliant and it works like a charm. So now I'm painting my tumbling blocks to make the word no L. Now I've worked out my, laid out my design for no L using the little wreath for the O and I will decorate it, which I had such a good time doing, I forgot to lay, to hit the camera video. I uh, made a messy bow, which I had always wanted to do, taking ribbon and crisscrossing it for the top. I thought it came out real cute. I put some red berries on the wreath and then I made a twine hanger using masking tape because it turned out to be a little heavy because the sign was quite big and uh, not yeah ma not masking tape that is another kind of tape duct tape and then I put berries on the wreath and that is my Noel sign and uh, I thought it came out real cute tell me what you think down in the comments below so then I have my joy sign and it had those black lines along the sign of the music. So I had this great uh, ribbon and the word joy, joy to the world. 
So I took the wide ribbon and put it crosswise across the sign. But see those red and black Christmas trees? Well, it so happened I had ribbon that matched that exactly that I had gotten. So I used that black and red plaid ribbon and glued that along the sides to cover the black uh, sign where the circled, uh, the sheet music didn't cover. And it coordinated perfectly with the wide ribbon. And so I just hot glued that along the side and then that coordinated with the wide ribbon that I put diagonally across the music and then put the joy sign on top of the ribbon. By the way, don't try and hot glue those metal words. It doesn't work. You have to use something else. Okay, so I talked too long. We're into the final reveal. Here is the first Jingle Bells uh, decor. And here is the second Jingle Bells decor that I did on the elongated sign. Here is the Noel with the messy bow and the tumble blocks. Here is the Joy to the World with the ribbon and the word joy. Tell me which one favorite in the comments below. And hey, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you again soon on Nona's Here.